It's right here. It is right here. Oh, can you see it, guys? Welcome to my channel, my friend. My name is Marie, and I am from Kingston, Jamaica. And this morning, I couldn't be happier. I'm heading to the so-called food forest down there to see what I can find if there's anything on my plans ready. But I had to stop. I had to take a tiki time out. I had to pause just to say a big thank you to my ladies from over there at Blessing from the Garden, Soroya and Latoya. Ah, guys, if you know me any at all, you know that seeds, dirt, fertilizer, plants, food, and family makes me happy. Look what I got. Now I have been struggling for the longest while to get marigold going. I planted so many seeds and they just didn't sprout. Now these ladies, they read my mind. They got me some. Look at this. Soraya, Latoya, bless you ladies. And they have a channel that they do um, gardening as well, container gardening. Blessings from the garden. Can check them out their motto is to start a garden one container at a time am i right ladies and they also got me some extra seeds this is a a rose apple oh my god look here i saw the lovely ladies putting these um marigold up in their video i didn't know they were mine thank you ladies and i also saw where she bought a, a, this is a rose apple and she got the extra seedling in another of her video and i saw her putting it in a temporary home and i didn't know it was mine ah! ladies there are two little things growing in there i wonder if they're can you see i'm going to save them and see what they are huh they might be useful right yes and they also got me a tomatillo. This is something like a tomato, but it's kind of in a shell. We, have, we don't have this in Jamaica, so I am extremely grateful. And more goodies in here. So thank you, ladies. All right, come with me. Let's go down to that bush to tackle those rocks before the sun get too hot. <laughs> ah, my God. Got two pomegranate. These are so sweet. Check that out. Alright, let's let's move on. The size of these guavas, they are not normal. Let me show you something. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the size of these. <laughs> oh my god. We use this slim to support it. Like so. Oh. Gosh, I'm looking if there are any fit ones. As those not ready, those not ready at all. Not ready. I think I see one way behind there. Ah, I think this one might be ready. Can you see it? There are so many on there. This one, that's what they look like when they're fit. Not ripe, but just fit. This is how I like them. And sometimes they get warm when they get too ripe. Get, um, too ripe. wonder what could have caused this. This one is not good. Oh. Back to the earth. I just spotted something, something else that made my morning. This right here. This is an orange. I think it's a Artinique. And look at blossoms. Look at blossom, but there are so many ants on there. Let's hope they don't um, fall off. 
Well, that is a good sign. That is awesome. It's a little dwarf orange tree. Guys, you know you can smell sour sap from a mile, right? And I smell sour sap. So, I need to find it. The tree is loaded with young ones, but I smell ripe sour sap. So many young ones. Gosh, where is it? It's right here. It is right here. Oh, can you see it, guys? So, the last time I checked, this one wasn't ripe. And check that out. The birds almost got it. Well, they took a bite out of it, but hey, this is my sauce up now. I'm sorry. Sorry. The small one coming on right beside it. Look here, bird. You too bright. Ah. Look at that. This bird is crazy. This is fully ripe. You know, you know I'm going to make sauce up juice, right? This is nice. Beautiful. See, it's worth coming down here. If, we, if I didn't come this morning, by tomorrow, just the stem, would be on the tree because the birds enjoy this just as much as we do all right let me check to ensure there are no more the star fruit just keep putting on new blossoms it's been the star that it is i think i might just get one These aren't quite as ripe as it. Let's see. Let's see around this side. No, not quite. They're a little bit bitter if they're not fully ripe. So, might not pick any this morning. They don't look quite as ripe. I like them when they're well, well ripe and juicy. They're juicy now, but they might be sour. Or even bitter. No. Not picking any of these. Because of the rocks they eat. I don't think breadfruit enjoy the eat too much. It produces but they keep falling off. Because down there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. I'm not going to say why. Because I really am not sure. There are quite a fru few fruits on it now. Really, I'm not sure why they keep falling off. June plum soon ready as well. He's not quite ready yet. There are a few more on it. They're young. Guys, I have to go back down there. I just saw my red color and it is outgrowing. My mango tree. So I have to go back. Leaving this and go back down there. Wow. Look at my mango tree. And check out the color loo. 
It's gonna work. It's gonna work. This is absolutely free, free food. We didn't plant it, but we're reaping. Look at that. And it will continue to produce. Mommy, you hear the bird? Yes. It's my friend. You must sing some sweet melody. The bird, come check me. Ah. Yes. So I need to get a few stuff up here and then I'm done for the morning. Right, this is one chop up though. Yeah, you wonder how we have pure rock and then you have pure bush. Oh. It not make sense. Well, it's a beast, but it's one chop up. It's yeah, it's a chop a lot of pollinators. Yeah. Alright. Guys, have you subscribed as yet? Remember to subscribe and press that notification bell. Remember. Guys, do you recognize this vine? I'm not sure what it is, but it produces those lovely yellow flowers. And check out the amount of, I think those are carpenter bees, correct me if I'm wrong. So many of them right over my garden. So I'm not complaining. I'm so happy I didn't cut these down. Wow. What kind of bees are these? They don't look like the carpenter bees. What are they? And they're definitely not bumblebees. Hmm. Welcome to my garden. Welcome guys. Guys, the sour sap smell. That lick me for six. Uh, three orange bell peppers from that one plant and it is producing up here and I have tons of little seedlings coming so grateful and there is one more one more orange bell pepper down here that one is so pretty all right so that is it for my little harvest this morning this right here in my hand though is what I'm most thrilled about. I'm grateful for everything but I am so happy I got this sauce up before the birds got the entire thing. Alright, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your company this morning. To my subscribers and viewers, I appreciate you all. If you're watching and you've not yet subscribed, please go ahead and press that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will be notified once I post another video. Alright, please like and leave a comment. And share with your friends because if you like my videos, chances are they will like them too. Alright, thank you so much and have a great day wherever you are in the world. God bless.